He played uh, Ellery Queen and Cannon. He wasn't Orson Welles, but he was equally, what was his name? Something Conrad? Something Cannon? I don't remember. My brain is waka ka 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 because yesterday afternoon I was thinking about a catalog called The Cat's Pajamas, which would sell you any kind of crap. Not any kind of crap. Special, special crap. A neon blue alarm clock. Check. T-shirts with far side cartoons on them. Check. I can't even remember. It was this cornucopia of crap. It was a crapucopia. It was delicious and amazing. They would also sell pink flamingos. Or there was a catalog called Pink Flamingos. I can't remember. This is in the days of ordering things through a catalog with the ease of an 800 toll-free number. And I never bought a thing, but I th thought, or I did think, about Pink Flamingos because they were such camp in the early 80s. Now, I don't really think about that, but it was this sense of kind of wry, sarcastic, thinking that you were being sophisticated and approaching the world with a, a sense of disdain and irony and yet sort of excited to have your display of, of things. And that, now it's just called being a hipster. So now it's $17 cocktails and curing your own things in your basement and, I don't know, going to see a poetry reading of someone who's 14 years old and the star student at Stuyvesant High School. That's what we do instead of pink flamingos. So even our kitsch has gotten hip. <laughs>